Okay, here we are with the Bobcat T650. We're gonna tighten up these tracks. They're getting pretty loose. Here I've got the tools. We got a grease gun, adjustable wrench, or you can use, I believe it's a nice 16 inch bolt on here. You can see how much slop we've got in these tracks. Well, let's just watch another video. It said this should only be a half an inch, and that's with it all the way jacked up. This uh, still has tension on that end because it's sitting on the ground still. The best way to jack these up would be to put a large wood block under the backside here and then lift up the, the bucket like we've got here. And that'll lift the machine all the way off the ground, lift the tracks off the ground. The way I knew this needed to be adjusted is these tracks on top are getting pretty bouncy. When I'd walk on them on the trailer, you can see how much they're bouncing, and you can see we've got that slop there. So what this does is we'll take off, we'll loosen up this bolt, we'll loosen up this bolt, and then this plate will pivot, and then we can, uh, we've got our grease circuit in here, and then that'll charge this ram that goes up into that front uh, idler wheel. That'll, that grease will push that wheel out uh, and take the tension out of this. in there ready to be filled up in there. We're good to go. We can cover this up. So quite a difference here. I can fit my fingers in here much tighter. Much, much tighter than the other side. See here we got a lot of room. Much tighter. Tighten this back down. Okay, should be good to go. Do the other side now. spider webs on this side. We got the lock and lube on here. I think I did a video on this, maybe not. I can't remember, I bought this a while back. One-handed operation.
subscribe.